Hey everybody, I hope you're holding up all right at home. I know this is a strange time and it comes with its own challenges, but like we've talked about, this is also an opportunity to get something out of the time we have. We don't have control over every situation, but we can control how we respond to the situation and what we get out of it. And that's what we're talking about this week. Last week for family time, we were talking about what are some challenges that you're facing and what are some of your goals that you have for this time. And I got a lot of great responses from students. Some of the challenges that came up were one, just the social isolation, not having the regular time with friends and the interactions at school and our extracurricular activities and all that sort of thing. And that's something I'm definitely missing too. 100% I miss teaching and coaching and seeing all of you. And that's something we can try to connect with people however we can. It was nice hearing from some of you just for the family time and stuff last week so I can still respond and check in on you at least through email. I know a lot of the teachers have been doing like Zoom meetings and things like that. That's really great. It's nice to connect with you in whatever little way that we can. I ran up to the high school last night just to grab a couple of things from the art room and I saw a couple of students practicing our social distancing, doing all that, but a couple of students who had gone up and used the track to run or were running on like the jogging trail and stuff around the school and stopped just to say hello quick and that was really great, really great seeing you. I miss you guys a lot. That's something I know for me has been hard. There's a lot of you that I see five days a week for years, whether it's in class, in the weight room, in sports, all that sort of thing. So it will be super nice when we get to see each other again. But until then, we can do some stuff to come out the other side of this stronger and having accomplished something. We've talked about before, time is going to move on whether we use it or not. And we don't want to get to the end of this time period, whether it's the four weeks that were originally mandated, or if it goes longer, we want to come out the other side not feeling like we wasted the time that we had. This. We, don't, we don't want to come out the other end and feel like I didn't accomplish anything. We want to come out stronger and better and ready to move on to further greatness, to accomplish the goals that we have down the road. And that's going to address... The other challenge that a lot of people brought up was just setting a schedule for themselves at home. That can be a hard thing. Some people are saying, yeah, I'm struggling to make sure I'm getting the schoolwork done that I should get done and make sure that I'm staying on a schedule. Some people have talked about, yeah, I'm staying up late and then I'm sleeping in late and those sorts of things. And that's tough, but it's such a great opportunity for you to practice that skill that you'll need for your whole life. We've talked about scheduling before for one of our family times. We're going to talk about it again this week. But how do you set up a schedule to be successful and have the day that you want to enjoy the day? And that's what we're going to talk about. And it's such great practice, especially if you're a senior and you're either going to college or you're starting your career path next year. What a good time to really hone in on just being disciplined enough to create a schedule for yourself and stick to it to get done everything you need to get done and still have some fun. I remember thinking in college, luckily I was an athlete in college and I had coaches tell me where I had to be when and I had to be at workouts and practice so things were fairly well structured. And even then, I felt like I had more downtime and of course I didn't have my parents there who were you telling me what to do or staying on top of me for things like that. So. It was all of a sudden more freedom than I had before, which was a great thing, but it also takes a level of responsibility. And I've seen people I was in school with, former students who have struggled with that jump of not handling that freedom real well. So I think it's such an important thing to practice now that when you go off college, career, whatever it is, and then just adult life down the road, yeah, there's always going to be things that you have to do. Your job, kids' schedules for extracurricular activities, things like that. But your other time outside of that, you have control of how you're going to spend that time. 
And I think this is just a tremendous opportunity to practice that. So we're talk a little bit about what we've been doing scheduling at home, just myself and with my kids who are there at home school type of stuff. So to help some of you. First, I think it's a good thing to still maintain a regular go to bed and get up schedule. I think that's so important. I talked to some students, well, you know, I've been staying up to two, three in the morning, my high school students, and then sleeping in late. I think that's not a great idea for a couple of reasons. One, that's not really the natural rhythm of our body, it's sort of the circadian rhythm is to be up all night and sleep in late, those sorts of things. And some people have to do it if you work different shift jobs and things like that. But when we do get back to our regular schedule, school is going to be at the same time. Our workouts are going to be at the same time. We have a long, proud tradition of working out, running, lifting weights at 6 in the morning year-round. And if this is an extended break, we don't want to get in the habit of, ah, I've been used to sleep until 10, 11 o'clock every day, and now you got to be up at 5 again to get to the weight room at 6. That's tough. So I do think that's important. Set a schedule for your, for your sleep. I try and do that with my kids. I try and do that with myself. I still try to get to bed at the regular time. I'm used to getting up at 5 in the morning. I still get up at 5 in the morning, do my workout. Obviously, I'm not going into the high school weight room right now, but still get my workout in before I start the day with my kids. And then we start our day. I get my kids up at the same time I do for school regularly. On the weekends, it's different. On the weekends, we still sleep in, get up, watch cartoons, stay up a little late on Friday, Saturday night. But on the weekdays, I'm trying to keep it pretty structured so that when we do go back, they're ready to go. Then, you know, one thing I think you can consider is you can still enjoy some of the, you can still change things a little bit. What I mean is, like, I've been getting my kids up and I've been making basically like a big breakfast every morning. We've been really taking our time eating breakfast and kind of getting ready for the day because we don't have to make sure we got our school bags and whatever you need for activities after school and getting it all in the Jeep and driving to school to make sure they're on time. We don't have that. Our commute is from the bedroom to the kitchen. So we can take a little bit more time and enjoy that breakfast together. But I suggest you do that too. That's something a lot of us don't have a chance to do when we get so busy. Take time to eat breakfast with your family, eat dinner, whatever it is. If we maybe don't always get a chance to do that, savor those moments a little bit. Enjoy that. Spend some time if you've got siblings at home. Spend some time with them. Especially if you got, I had an email from a student today doing crafts with their younger sibling. That's awesome. Get a chance to be a big brother, big sister, whatever that you maybe don't always get to do. I mean, you always do that. You always fill that role. You always set an example. But you may not have the downtime. Just hang out with them. Do their homework with them. Help them with their schoolwork. Do some crafts with them. That's a really nice thing. So do enjoy that. It doesn't need to be the exact same schedule that we had, but build yourself a schedule for success. Then with my kids, we actually write out a schedule. Kind of, We map it out on a whiteboard the day before, and then I kind of add and make notes as we go during the day. So this is an example. It looks like there's a lot going on there. Um, but it's just some notes and stuff for me, so I know what we got done one day. So then our next school day, we can kind of build off of that. And we're doing a lot of the stuff that my elementary kids, that their elementary teachers have been sending. They've been sending great stuff. They have online learning activities. We've been hitting that stuff. We've also been taking the opportunity to do some other things. That's been a lot of fun for me. Yes, I would love to be back teaching my classes and coaching and all those things like normal. But I'm going to enjoy this opportunity I have to sort of serve as teacher for my kids. That's a hat I don't always get to wear with them. I coach their sports, and they're around you guys a lot, and around our high school sports and things, and junior high sports. But it's been fun for me to just be able to like, hey, okay, here's what we're doing for math. Here's what we're doing for reading. They're getting their stuff done for school, but then just also extra stuff that we're enjoying doing together. Like for math, we've been doing their math stuff. 
I've been showing them some new concepts and doing stuff, and then we play a game called Math Monster, where I set up in the living room, and I have a pot of gold, a treasure, it's candy, but then I have them start in the dining room, kitchen area, and then I ask them a series of questions, and they have to solve the questions to take one step closer and closer until they get closer to the treasure, and then we have to fight, and they have to wrestle the math monster and try and get the treasure away. And it's a lot of fun. That's something that we, I just normally don't make time to do that, say specific math activities, because we are usually run into different school activities, either me coaching, my kids' activities, those sorts of things. So that's been fun. We've even, like for our reading time, we've taken time to just sit and silently all read something. Like we're all reading something different. We've never done that before. Now, we've done a lot of reading, had the kids read to me, I read to them aloud, we read books aloud at night before going to bed, but it's usually been a read aloud thing, and my kids are in second and third grade, but they're old enough now where they can sit and read for a sustained period of time, so we'll just sit. You know, we have this all scheduled, we have a half an hour every day, we just sit down, all three of us are just reading silently, reading separate stuff, then we get done. And we can talk about what we read. It's awesome shared time. We got the L-shaped couch. We're all just three sitting on the couch just reading. That's great. Take the opportunity to do some of that stuff that you normally don't have time for, don't make time for. That's been awesome. And you can build in a lot of fun stuff too. I have all throughout this schedule, we have recess time where either it's time for the kids to play while I prep lunch or something like that, or hey, we're going outside together and we're playing baseball. This is the time of year I kind of get in baseball, softball mode. It was supposed to be opening day of Major League Baseball season the other day. That didn't happen, but we went outside and played baseball three times the other day because it was pretty nice out. And you can, you can tweak your schedule too. Set up, block out your times. I have blocks of time for from this time to this time, we're going to work on writing. From this time to this time, we're going to work on that. I have it written up on a whiteboard. The kids can go check it so we get done with something. Okay, hey, we have snack time and play time. And then after that, this is the activity we've got. And sometimes, well, okay, we got done with this a little bit early. Maybe we have a little more play time. Or let's, hey, let's get the next thing done too. Then we're going to go outside and we're going to play baseball a little bit longer. So you don't have to be... You don't have to let your schedule dictate everything to you, but use it to structure your time and get the most out of it. And I've been trying to do the same just with my days. When I have my kids, it's the three of us, and I'm trying to do the social distancing thing. So there's days like today. Today I'm filming this. I'm basically just hanging out at home getting stuff done. But that's okay. I'm not... I'm going to use it as an opportunity to get some stuff done. So I write a schedule for myself too. And I've shown you this before on scheduling thing. This is my whiteboard with our bulletin board. So there it is. Again, hard to see. But I just have a schedule set up where it's okay. This is the time I'm going to get up. I'm going to work out first and do my, my daily routine. I think that set up a routine for yourself and do some of the stuff you normally do. I get up exercise, meditate, and read right away when I get up in the morning. First thing. Because then I, I feel like that sets my intention for the day, starts me on the right foot. So it's a Saturday here in isolation, but I still go through that routine because I know it sets me up to have a successful day. Then I have time scheduled for I film an art video. I can send out to my students to work on stuff. I'm filming this family time video. I also... Just have time set aside. I'm going to work on some art stuff that I want to work on. I'm going to work on some writing things. I'm going to work on some stuff that I've wanted to do. But I, you know, either normally I'm trying to squeeze in little bits of time here and there. Or now I have a little more sustained time. And I've been able to do some fun stuff too. Still connecting with people. One of my cousins sent a challenge to come up with a 90s comic book character based on a, a famous comic book artist from that time. And so you had to kind of draw the character in that style. So 
me and my kids sat down and we drew our 90s comic book characters and sent, you know, we're just sending text messages back and forth and that was a lot of fun. There's still ways to connect with people and do fun stuff, but accomplish some things you want to accomplish. I know I have fitness goals from this time period. I've got goals for stuff that I want to write, for goals for things that I want to draw and create and stuff like that. And some of you were talking to me last week about that. But now how are you going to actually set up a structure and a schedule to help you meet those goals? That's really the next big step. And I think, like I said, it's a great time to practice that because when you get into adult life, a lot of people do that same thing. This is something I want to accomplish. This is something I want to do. But now are you going to build in the time to do it? Are you going to set in the structure and the discipline to actually accomplish these things you say you want to do? So I hope that's a little bit of a help as people are thinking about scheduling. What I want from you this week is I want you to pick a day and send me the schedule you set up for yourself. Start to finish. What are you doing? And build some time in to enjoy yourself. Like I said, this is a slower time, and I'm, I'm enjoying the slower time with my kids. I like the busy life we have, but I'm enjoying the slower time too. We've been taking a long time eating breakfast together. We've been taking a long time eating lunch together. We've been eating supper and watching a, like a movie. Almost every night sitting back and watching a movie because we have a little more time for that than we would after, instead of coming home from practice and stuff like that. So enjoy it. Enjoy that time. I've been showing my kids some of my favorite movies. Like, hey, here's what, we take turns. I pick a movie, my daughter picks a movie, my son picks a movie, and we take turns or a show or whatever they want to watch. So I've been taking the opportunity to, hey, here's one of my favorite movies. This movie, like, is important to me. So here, watch it. Take some time to share, connect with people, build in the time for things you want to do. If you want to play video games, that's fine. Build in some video game time. That's a great way to connect with people. I'm not a video game guy, so I forget about it, but I was talking to my brother who's been playing online games with his buddies from Chicago and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, that would be a great way to connect with people during this time and still have fun and enjoy their company a little bit. So build in some of those things, but build the structure for the day you want to have. It's going to set you up for success. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope to see you soon. Much love.